The inclusion of satellite communication in the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra is a significant move, especially for those who value safety and accessibility in remote areas. With Qualcomm and MediaTek advancing their processors and satellite communication capabilities, it's not surprising that Samsung is joining the race. The fact that the Chinese version of the Galaxy S25 Ultra has received 3C certification confirming this feature shows how close we are to seeing it in action. The uncertainty over whether the Baidu or Tiantong satellite system will be used is interesting, as it may vary depending on the region. Samsung's choice could have implications for performance and availability in different countries. If the satellite SOS feature is exclusive to the Ultra model, SMS 9380, it may be disappointing for those opting for the S25 or S25 Plus. The fact that chargers won't be included in the box is less surprising, as this has become a trend in recent years. The continuation of 45GW fast charging for the Plus and Ultra models with 25W for the base version, suggests Samsung is maintaining a consistent approach to charging speeds, though some users might have hoped for improvements. What really stands out is the possibility of satellite communication being offered for free initially but transitioning to a paid service later. This could be a crucial lifesaver in emergencies, but a paid service might limit its use. With Apple already offering satellite communication and companies like Huawei and Verizon jumping on board, it's clear this feature is becoming a must-have for premium smartphones. What do you think? Would the satellite SOS feature make the Galaxy S25 Ultra more appealing to you, or do you think Samsung should offer it across all models? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. The upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 series is shaping up to be a powerful lineup and the recent leak about a 16GB RAM version of the Galaxy S25 Ultra is exciting news for those looking for top-tier performance. With Ice Universe confirming the 16GB RAM variant, this would be a notable jump from the current 12GB RAM offered across all storage options on the S24 Ultra. This rumor puts Samsung in line with competitors like Google, which recently upgraded the Pixel 9 Pro models to 16GB of RAM with some of that memory dedicated to handling AI tasks. If Samsung adopts a similar approach, we could see the S25 Ultra's RAM, partially allocated for Galaxy AI features, potentially enhancing user experience with tasks like voice recognition, smart photography, and system optimizations. However, this might mean slightly less available RAM for typical multitasking, but for most users, 16 gigabytes will likely offer plenty of power for day-to-day -day tasks, gaming, and productivity. The S25 and S25 Plus are expected to get their own RAM upgrades as well. If Samsung increases the S25 base model to 12 gigabytes of RAM, it would represent a nice boost from the current 8 gigabytes in the S24, putting it on par with the Pixel 9 non-pro models. Whether the S25 Plus will also see an increase to 16 gigabytes remains to be seen, but Samsung might reserve that higher RAM tier for the Ultra to differentiate its premium status. Overall, this RAM upgrade, combined with potential AI advancements, could make the S25 series a major contender in the flagship market. What are your thoughts on these upgrades? Would you prefer 16 gigabytes of RAM for better multitasking, or do you think 12 gigabytes is more than enough? Let me know in the comments.